Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 20 of the chapter Thermodynamics. In this video, I am going to tell you about the enthalpy of atomization. When you have one mole of a molecule and you break that molecule to give you atoms of that substance, that process is known as atomization and the enthalpy change that is involved in the breaking of one mole of uh, the bonds of one mole of a substance is known as the enthalpy of atomization. If the molecule is diatomic, then you're just breaking the bond between the two atoms. But if the molecule is polyatomic, then the sum of the enthalpies of the breaking of all the bonds in that molecule, that would give you the enthalpy of atomization. Let us look at this a little more clearly. Let me read the definition first. Enthalpy of atomization is the enthalpy change on breaking one mole of bonds completely to obtain atoms in the gaseous phase. Now it is important to have the reactants and the products in the gaseous phase because if they are in, in some other state then there would be energy which would be required to convert uh, the state to the gaseous state and that energy would also be counted as the enthalpy of atomization which would actually be wrong by definition. Enthalpy of atomization should specifically be the energy which is required to separate the atoms in one mole of a substance. So we say for example H2 molecule in the gaseous state gives us two hydrogen atoms. So we've got atoms from a molecule. So this is atomization. So in, in this atomization process what is happening? The bonds are breaking. So the enthalpy of atomization of one mole of hydrogen molecule to give us hydrogen atoms, two moles of hydrogen atoms is 435 kilojoules per mole. Now this atomization if you really see how did atomization take place in this process by the dissociation or the by the breaking of bonds so we could also call this enthalpy to be the bond dissociation enthalpy or the bond enthalpy now the bond enthalpy or the bond dissociation enthalpy in the case of hydrogen molecule would also be the enthalpy of atomization the next video in part 21, I will be telling you about the bond dissociation enthalpy in details. Similarly, you have a molecule like chlorine molecule. In chlorine, chlorine, the two chlorine atoms are attached by a single bond. If we have one mole of chlorine molecules and they break to give us two moles of chlorine atoms, again, both were in the gaseous state, then the enthalpy of atomization, which is also the enthalpy of dissociation or bond dissociation enthalpy is 242 kilojoules per mole. In the case of oxygen molecule, I have specially written it separately because I want you to see in oxygen there is a double bond between the two oxygen atoms. Now, the energy required to break both these bonds to give you atoms of oxygen would be the enthalpy of atomization in the case of oxygen. So it doesn't matter how many bonds are present. The idea is to break the molecule to give you uh, from molecules to give you atoms, individual atoms. So the amount of energy which is required to break these two bonds for one mole of oxygen to give you two moles of oxygen atoms is 428 kilojoules per mole. So this was the enthalpy of atomization or the bond dissociation enthalpy in these three cases. Now we come to a polyatomic molecule like methane. In methane there, are, there is one carbon and four hydrogens and the amount of energy which is required to break the all these atoms would be there are how many bonds there are four bonds between four carbons uh, between carbon and the four hydrogens there are four bonds so in the breaking of these four bonds to give you one carbon and four hydrogen atoms the enthalpy of atomization is 1665 kilojoules per mole but this is not the bond dissociation enthalpy and this i will explain in the next video i would encourage you to watch the next video which is part 21 so methane it breaks down to give us this amount and the amount of energy which is given out in breaking up of all the bonds to give you one carbon and four hydrogen atoms is the bond is the enthalpy of atomization of methane there is just one more example it is not always necessary that enthalpy of atomization or atomization takes place only by breaking of bonds 
sometimes you have a substance in a solid state for example metals metals have a metallic lattice they are present as uh, a solid metal and you could provide heat and metals if you really see they are not really bound to other uh, metal atoms so if you have sodium in the solid form and you heat it up you provide energy to one mole of sodium atoms in the solid state they get converted into one mole of sodium atoms in the gaseous state and again getting the substance in the gaseous state would that amount of enthalpy would be known as the enthalpy of atomization so in this case this is the enthalpy of atomization of uh, sodium in this case is 108.4 kilojoules per mole but the process here was not the bond dissociation the process that took place here was when you turn a solid to a gas the process is known as sublimation so we could also call this the enthalpy of sublimation so it would be delta h negative sublimation for sodium solid to be converted into sodium gas one mole it is a it is the conversion of one mole of reactant into the atoms of that substance so this was enthalpy of atomization if you found the video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry thank you for watching and bye bye for now